it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! 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 Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted? Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Pepper. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Pepper, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. See, our 
asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Peppa. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! <laughs> It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 4768593... Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is 4768599? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. <laughs> funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. Very well. Hoopla! That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. 
I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Yeah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Mummy did a loop the loop! That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Wow! Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana! That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden... Eat vegetables? Oh, 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 no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. 
Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost tape? What a good idea. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! Oh. It can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land. Now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter! I'm on my way! You're in luck! We've got a job to do! Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting! OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet! <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up. And down. And round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Hmm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. But do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. puddles. And I taught.
told him to say it. Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter, too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dottie. Auntie Dottie lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. And now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh. ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Pepper. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Pepper and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Pepper, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> Can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one of Fish, please. The fish.
fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. Oh, dear. Now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr Bull. <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr Bull. Yes, Peppa. It's made of delicate china. Mr Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because China can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. Here we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <laughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, <laughs> oh it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. 
Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! OK, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Oh. Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. <laughs> oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Uh oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Hooray! <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again. Oh no, we got a Mr. Potato doll. <laughs> mummy, mummy, <laughs> Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <coughs> oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh. oh. Will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Pepper. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Pepper. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Pepper? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> 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 
I will really miss you, Susie. <coughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <coughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I remember Madame Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madame Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr. Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy. Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. Welcome to the caves. Ooh. It's so pretty and sparkly. <sighs> Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. <gasps> it can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in! <gasps> Everyone out of the boat! I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, Sports Centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes, we're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello, welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madame, Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madame, Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny, that's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? Yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the duck. 
Mrs. Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa. Why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <laughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye. <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <sighs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your... <laughs> Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Peppa, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes, I miss her very much. To Goldie, wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear! It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. <laughs> You have had Mr Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I 
dinosaur. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh. Where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? 
I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop. I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes. We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm. Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy! We're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> Get on your marks. Ready. Get set. Three. Hello, I'm home. Oh, I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing, it's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves talking. Chatter, 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 chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. Chatter. <laughs> Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. We know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. Daddy, Daddy 
guinea pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sandpit. <laughs> George and Richard <laughs> love the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sandcastle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sandcastle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. Now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! 
let's go. Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> Yes, you can help me make the batter. First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> No, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. <laughs> Delicious! This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. 
Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But we want to ride our own bicycles. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Peppa. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. I'm sure. OK. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! It's not a race, Pepper. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy, but I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Pepper, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <sighs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> Oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, 
Do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <gasps> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. Let's go! <laughs> how Map Reed and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Oh. Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. Let's play I Spy. OK. I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress! That's red. No, it's not your dress. Hmm. The car! That's right. Our red car. <laughs> <laughs> my go! I spy with my little eye something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up. Yes. The sky. The blue sky. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig. <laughs> We're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Hmm. I know. We can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. <laughs> Mummy, can George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Pepper and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? We can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, can we help you work? No, Pepper, you mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! <laughs> Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, <laughs> can you mend the computer? Um... I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Mm. Maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? 
must clean the car before we go for a drive. Oh, right you are, Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we help to clean the car? <laughs> yes, if you want to. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig has some warm, soapy water to wash the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is washing the roof. <laughs> Mummy Pig is washing the bonnet. <laughs> Pepper is washing the doors. <laughs> George wants to wash the windows. <laughs> but he is too little. <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear. Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First, we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and a spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! Oh, yes, we forgot Daddy Pig. Uh, uh, what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. <laughs> but he likes playing with Pepper more. <laughs> I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> 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 
Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> Hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. George, don't drink your juice too quickly. George drank his juice too quickly, and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Can we go out to play now, Bobby? Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby. Haven't they, George? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, you can go out and play. But look after George. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <laughs> George, please stop hiccuping. <laughs> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <laughs> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Yes. Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There, all done. Come on, Daddy Pig, it's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. Now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> I 
ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper, George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. <laughs> I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are! Pepper? <laughs> George? There you are! Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Is mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow, really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Hello, mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy! Would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. Yay! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mummy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Blow the candles out and make a wish. <sighs> Mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. Mm. Delicious! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Pepper told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Ooh, a wasp! I hate wasps! Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <gasps> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Eh? Get away! Scram! Whoop. Help! Whoa! Chew! Get it off me! I hope the 
wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Peppa's shoes are lost. Now he hasn't got any shoes to wear. Poor Peppa. Your shoes were getting a bit old. We'll buy you a new pair. Can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Peppa are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, please. Of course. Red ones. Wow. No red shoes! <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Pepper. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Peppa's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bobby. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> Well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Peppa, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other, and I have to try and catch it. I'm the Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Mummy is the Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Peppa. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Peppa, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Caught it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <laughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. 
So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <gasps> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> Pepper is at the optician's. <laughs> Mr Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr Pony is going to test Peppa's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow, I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper, you look fantastic. <laughs> Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <sighs> there, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <sighs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> It is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> 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 Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. <laughs> Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. Clever, <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. 
I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you Tony Bush, you. Oh, my prince. My princess. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small, and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr. Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <laughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr. Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my Daddy? Hello, Mr. Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. Let Mr. Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Pepper likes Mr. Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr. Skinny Legs. And we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know, we can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. What about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box, and Mr. Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the Mountain Beauty Spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. 
Oh dear, Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What it drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> Sounds fun! It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK! I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I will sprinkle the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside, keeping guard. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Peppa, you can't give away Mr Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat, and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know the television. Not the telly. No. It's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? 
Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, you gave away Daddy's chair. Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. 